Hi everyone, welcome back to Professor Spectrum. Today I'm going to show you how to change an XRF window correctly. So let's get started. Clean windows can mean the difference between good and great results. So before changing the windows, let's discuss why. Accidental breakage, CRMs showing elevated levels in certain elements, signaling strong contamination buildup during analysis, the start of a new project, or the windows looking visibly dirty. The tools you'll need are a small screwdriver, a clean window, and an alcohol wipe. So depending on the brand of instrument, your window might look slightly different to the instrument I'm using today, but the essentials are still the same. XRFs generally have a metal plate that is attached by small screws. Unscrewing and removing these will reveal the window. For the Brooker I'm using, the window is a sticker, so go ahead and peel it off. Once you've exposed the open window, it is crucial to not allow excess dirt inside, so using your alcohol wipe, wipe around this, not attempting to clean inside or touching the detector. Once it is sufficiently air dried, grab your new window, peel off the backing and stick it down. Screw the metal plate back on and ta-da, you have a new window. So to avoid changing the windows all the time, you can utilise a small cleaning brush such as this. You can also invest in quality CRMs to monitor contamination so you have real results and you do not need to guess when the contamination is built up. You can also be gentle when analysing potentially rough surfaces that do not pierce the window. And that's how to correctly change an XRF window. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, have a look at our other videos and subscribe to Professor Spectrum.